The sour grapes mentality is not just limited to individual desires. It can also manifest in various aspects of life, such as career aspirations, relationships, and material possessions. For example, someone who fails to achieve a desired promotion at work might convince themselves that the position wasn't worth it anyway, or that they prefer their current role for its work-life balance. Similarly, in relationships, a person who is rejected might convince themselves that they never really like the other person or that they are better off without them. This mentality can also extend to societal issues. For instance, individuals facing systemic barriers might downplay the importance of certain opportunities or privileges, rationalizing that they wouldn't have wanted them anyway. This mindset can serve as a coping mechanism to protect one's self-esteem and sense of worth in the face of adversity. However, while the sour grapes mentality may provide temporary relief from disappointment, it can also hinder personal growth and development. By dismissing aspirations or opportunities as unattainable or undesirable, individuals may miss out on valuable experiences and growth opportunities. Therefore, it's important to recognize when the sour grapes mentality is at play and to challenge oneself to pursue genuine desires and aspirations, even in the face of obstacles. William is a promising young farmer. Although his farm is not small, compared to his neighbor Jack's ranch, it always seems somewhat dim. Whenever William drives past Jack's house in his carriage, the dazzling sight always fills him with envy and jealousy. William, look, Jack's herd has become even fatter again. William's wife, Amy, exclaimed, pointing excitedly at Jack's ranch. William stopped the carriage, his eyes fixed on Jack's house in the distance. Yes, indeed, their herd does look healthy and strong, William said, his tone unable to hide his envy. Jack is really a lucky man. His farm is so much better than ours, Amy sighed. Yeah, he is, William sighed softly, making a silent resolve to work harder in the future to improve his own farm to match Jack's ranch. Just then, Jack came out and waved to William's family. Good morning, William, Amy. Where are you headed today? Jack's voice came, carrying warmth and friendliness. Good morning, Jack. We're going to town today to buy some seeds and farm tools, William responded, smiling. Oh, that's a good idea. Do you need any help? Jack asked sincerely. No, thanks, Jack. We can manage on our own, William waved his hand, expressing gratitude. Jack nodded, smiling, all right, if you need any help, feel free to come find me anytime. As William watched Jack's retreating figure, a tinge of bitterness welled up in his heart. He knew he needed to work even harder to make his farm comparable to Jack's ranch. Behind Jack's ranch lies a story of hardship and diligent labor. Every day, as the first rays of sunlight stream through the curtains into the house, Jack's family begins a new day of work. Jack rises early, donning his work clothes and wide-brimmed hat before stepping out of the house. His wife, Maria, has already been busy in the kitchen preparing breakfast stirring ingredients in the pan while occasionally calling out, Jack, hurry out and check on the herd. All right, I'll go right away, Jack promises, hastening toward the pasture. Everything on the ranch requires his attention. He must ensure the herd has enough feed and water, and he checks on the livestock's health to ensure they are all thriving. While Jack is busy, Maria is equally industrious. Not only does she take care of the household chores, but she also assists her husband with various tasks on the farm. Sometimes, she even helps with herding cattle, never complaining and silently putting in her efforts to ensure the smooth running of both home and farm. 
It's not just Jack and Maria. Even their children have grown accustomed to the rhythm of farm life. After school, they return home to help, sometimes assisting with weeding and watering in the fields. Though hard work, they never complain, understanding that it's all for the future of their family. The family almost lives by the rhythm of sunrise and sunset, their labor being the source of prosperity for Jack's ranch. Through their efforts, the crops thrive, the herd grows healthy and robust, and the whole farm teems with vitality. Upon learning about the labor behind Jack's family, William is struck with realization. He understands that he had only seen the surface brilliance of Jack's family, overlooking the toil and sacrifice behind it. He begins to reflect on his previous thoughts, realizing that success often hides countless efforts and sacrifices. Amy, I was so blind before, only seeing the surface brilliance of Jack's family, but ignoring their hardships and sacrifices, William confides in his wife. Yeah, William, success doesn't come out of thin air. It requires sweat and effort, Amy says with deep feeling. We should also reflect on ourselves and strive to achieve our dreams. Yeah, Amy, Jack's farm is truly admirable, William sighed, feeling a mixture of emotions. Do you think we could make our farm as good as theirs? Amy asked curiously, also hoping to make their farm more prosperous. William pondered for a moment before saying, perhaps we could seek advice from Jack, learn how he manages his ranch. Amy nodded in agreement. Yes, maybe he'd be willing to share some agricultural insights. With this discussion, William decided to approach Jack's family. When they arrived at Jack's farm, he was busy feeding the cattle. William, Amy, what can I do for you? Jack waved to them warmly. Jack, you see, our farm always falls short compared to yours. We were wondering if you could share some of your agricultural expertise with us. William candidly expressed his thoughts. Jack smiled, setting down his tools and walking over to them. Of course, agricultural knowledge is meant to be shared. Come, have a seat and let's chat over a cup of tea. In Jack's house, William and Amy asked detailed questions about ranch management, fertilizer usage, and cattle care. Jack enthusiastically shared his years of experience, not holding back and imparting knowledge to them. Remember, agriculture is not just about techniques. It's also about respecting the land and life, managing with care, Jack said earnestly. William and Amy listened intently, nodding occasionally to show their understanding. Through this exchange, they not only learned practical agricultural skills, but also felt the sense of mutual assistance among neighbors. On the way back home, William's envy and jealousy gradually transformed into gratitude and respect for Jack. They decided to integrate the knowledge they gained into managing their own farm, hoping to make it more lush and prosperous. William, we're really lucky to have a neighbor like Jack, who's always willing to help, Amy said with emotion. Yes, Amy. We should cherish this neighborly friendship and strive to make our farm better, William responded confidently, feeling the bitterness of envy dissipate from his heart.